Good to see everyone. Good to be back. Appreciate y'all taking care of Wednesday night for me. Y'all know I was at a funeral. But it's good to be back. You have your Bible turn to 2 Timothy chapter 2. You know, God uh, has a reason for everything He does in your life and in my life. Many times we call friends home and loved ones home and sometimes we want to question God but God knows what he's doing. Amen? Amen. I just thank God for the day that he gave us today and I just pray we come to worship and praise his holy name. Second uh, Timothy chapter 2 talk about being strong in grace. Amen? As a child of God, he wants you to be strong. He wants people to be able to see Christ living through you and I. That's what God's all about. He wants uh, his glory. He wants you and I to praise his holy name. Amen? Many times we may do things that we know that's not of God. And when, as a child of God, the, the Holy Spirit convicts us of that wrongdoing. Amen? But through the word of God today, I pray that God shows you uh, and me what he would have us to see as his children. And maybe today, you're not a child of the king. Amen? Maybe you realize that you need a savior. And, and God comes knocking on your heart's door. He wants to give you the most precious gift that you can ever receive in your life. That gift is Jesus. Amen? And Jesus alone. Father, we thank you for this service, Father. We we know you, you've taken over it, Father. And Father, we just want you to open up our hearts today and let your word fall on solid ground, Lord. And you just speak through me, Father, whatever you would have to, to say. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. It talks about people that call themselves children of God. It talks about people who... Proclaim to be a child of God that's not a child of God. Amen. All this is in uh, chapter 2, people. The Bible says, You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Amen? He tells you and I that, guess what? We've got to endure hardship. Guess what? We are soldiers of the cross. Amen? Of Jesus Christ in Him alone. He didn't tell you and I that it would be an easy road to walk, did He? Young people, we don't have many, but I'm going to tell you, people, if you go going to stand for your Lord and save you, you're not going to have many friends in your lifetime. Hey, we know that as seniors in here. You should know that. If you're not going to compromise God's Word, if you're going to stand on God's Word and His Word alone, I want to tell you some things. You're going to even lose some family members. Amen? Amen. You're going to lose loved ones that you thought they cared about you, but because you care about them, you want them to know the truth. Amen? Amen. You come from my God's work. The Bible says the blood's on your hand and on my hand. So are we a soldier of the cross? So it says, no one was engaged in warfare and entangles himself with the affairs of what? This life. Listen, this life is just a vapor. Amen? I, I'm not going to let this world control me. How about you? Huh? We're living in a time now that they're trying to do everything they can to take God's Word and water it down and even change God's Word. Amen. Amen. Right? And I'm going to tell you, we got many preachers today, we got many Christians today are compromising God's Word because they don't want to hurt someone's brain feeling or they don't want the, gov the government of whoever in the White House to come against them. Hogwarts. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you what. My Lord and Savior is the one I'm going to put my trust in. How about you? Amen. Huh? 
I'm going to stand on a solid rock, and that rock is who? Jesus. I'm, the Bible tells you, and, and I, we've got too many people to talk to and fro in this world that we live in, and God said it's time for His people to stand on His Word. Amen. You either believe, people, that God's Word will set this world free, or you don't. Amen? Amen. The Word, not your Word, not my Word, but God's word, amen? The Bible tells you and I that that he may please him who has enlisted him as a soldier. And also if anyone competes in, ath in athletics, he is not crowned <clears throat> unless he competes according to what? The rules. Where's the rules, people? The rules is the word of God, amen? The Word of God is the rule. Huh? You will have faith. Faith by hearing what? The Word of God. You cannot know the Word of God until you become a child of God by being filled with the Holy Spirit. The Spirit will teach you all things. Amen? The Bible tells you and I that the way that seems right to a man will lead it to what? Destruction, amen. I want you to know that if you call yourself a Christian, you don't have to doubt your salvation because the Bible says you know that you know that you've been born again because you've become a new creature in the Lord and you're sealed by the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Right. This is what he said the hardship, the hard working farm, farm, farmer uh, must be first to partake of the crop. So consider what I say, and may the Lord give you understanding in all things. I mean, hey, he wanted them, guess what? I want the Lord to give you understanding of all things. Isn't that what you want? That's what I want. I, I want my Father in the heaven to let me see the truth, and the truth is in Him. Give me the Word. Open my eyes and open my heart, Lord. I want to know the truth. But the truth was going to set me free too. Amen? So listen to what he said. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, for which I suffer trouble as an evil doer, even to the point of change. But the word of God is not what? It's not change. <laughs> Y'all yeah, need to rely on that, baby. You can't change the Word of God. Huh? I'm going to tell you people, you were set free the moment you gave your life to Christ, and if you are in bondage because you are like Satan to put you in bondage, amen? Who is Satan going to use? He's going to use man, mankind, or woman on this earth to put you and I in bondage. You know, the Bible tells me in the Scripture that one person can quench the Holy Spirit, Amen? I come today to hear from God. How about you? Amen. Huh? Don't let no one put some bonds around you. Don't let no one put chains around you. Amen? He said, my word never changed. He said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen? He said, so therefore, I do all things for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. This is a faithful thing. Where are you at, preacher? Second Timothy chapter two. I'm, I'm now at verse eleven. Uh, I he says, "For this is, is a faithful seven. For if we died with him, we shall what? Yeah. Also live with him." Now Romans chapter six. Uh, I'm going to read this, and you can mark it down. Five and eight. It says. Romans 6, 5 says, For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, talking about Jesus, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be done away with, uh, that we should no longer be slaves to who? To sin. Amen? Jesus set you free from sin. Huh? There's no more bondage. You gave your life to Christ. Listen to what he said. If we endure. If we endure. Endure. 
The Bible tells you and I, if you look back, you're not fit for the kingdom of heaven. Amen? The Bible says we need to go on for our Lord and Savior. No matter how hard it may be. No matter how the road gets so drunken that we walk. No matter how people talk about you. How people treat you. Keep your eyes upon Jesus. Amen? Amen. How, run the race. Run the race. The Bible says... We shall also reign with him if we endure it. If, if we deny him, he also will deny us. You know, Matthew chapter 10, uh, verse 23, uh, verse 32 and 33 says this. Matthew 10, uh, uh, 32 and 33 says this. Jesus says, Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Amen? you either for him or you're against him. Huh? Many times we may come to church or Bible studies or whatever it is. We go to the Lord's house and we say, you know, I want to have control. No, I want the Holy Spirit to have control. Amen? This is the body of Christ we come be. We want to hear from God, huh? You don't want to hear from what Brother Shelby wants, because what Brother Shelby wants might not be what God wants, amen? I want to hear from God. And the Bible tells you and I, if we are faith, faithless, he remains what? Faithful. He cannot deny himself. Now watch. Remember them of these things. Remind them of these things, he says. Charging them before the Lord, not to strive about words to what? To no profit. If it don't edify God, keep your mouth shut. Amen? <laughs> hey, that's what he's saying. I'm just telling you the truth. Huh? If it doesn't edify God, just keep your mouth shut. Why talk about somebody and try to stuff them in the ground when you're not getting nowhere to the Bible tells you not? Hey, it's about time for you to take the post out of your eyes before you try to take the splint out of someone else. Amen. I don't think not a person in this church can raise their hand and say, I'm perfect. Not a one. We're all sinners saved by grace. Amen? Amen. Listen to what he said. He said, Remind them of these things, charging them before the Lord, not to strive about words to no profit, to the run of the hearer, be diligent to prick yourself a proof to God, a worker who does not need to be what? Ashamed. Rightly dividing what? The word of what? Truth. Truth. Jesus said, I'm the way to truth and the life. No one goes to the Father but through me. Amen. The truth is in Christ. The Bible said, but shun profane and out of battle. For they will increase the more what? Ungodliness. Huh? And their message will spread like what? Cancer. Huh? <clears throat> Hypnic cussing and, and philetus of the sort who have strayed uh, uh, concerning the truth, saying that the resurrection is already past and they overthrow the faith of some. Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands, having this seal. The Lord knows those that are here, that are here, and let everyone name the name of Christ. Depart from what? <laughs> line. I got a red line. Let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from what? Iniquity. What is iniquity? Lack of righteousness, or unjust, or wickedness, sinful, or wicked, or unjust act. Yes, that's what iniquity is. God said that you live in that type of life, get on your knees, and ask God to forgive you, amen? Amen. He said, but in a great house, they are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also the wood 
in clay, some for honor and some for what? Dishonor. Amen? He's telling us that today, there may be vessels in here, some of you for honor, some of you for dishonor. I want to ask you, what type of vessel are you? Amen? The Bible tells you and I, as the child of God that I am, that I am the temple of God. Amen? Amen. Yes. We as brothers and sisters in Christ should stand and put our faith in God and in Him alone. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. Man will let you down, but God won't. Amen? Keep your trust in Him and in Him alone. He says, he says, therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master. Prepare for every good work. Flee also youthful lust, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Amen. That's what we should pursue. Amen. I want good for each and every one of you. Amen. I want the best. I pray that, that you seek God's will in your life. Huh? Many times we lose our blessings because of what we do. We take our eyes off of Jesus. Amen? You know, I was thinking about this during the week. I, that, you know, that you know, Jesus just fed the 5,000. You know, he fed more than 5,000. But, you know, he, he told his, his disciples to get in the boat and just, Get to the other side of the shore. You know, they, they, they was with Jesus. They, they walked with Jesus. You know, but you see, a storm came. Some waves started pushing this boat around. And all of a sudden, they see someone walking on the water. If you want to go there, you may. They seen someone walking on the water, and Peter got scared. Y'all know that? Y'all know that Peter got scared? And when he seen who it was, it's Jesus. Amen. You know, a key thing that if you look at, Peter said, Jesus, would you command me to come to you? Amen. And the Bible says as long as Peter kept his eyes upon Jesus, he was walking on water. Amen. Amen. That's right. As so long as we keep our eyes upon Jesus, some great things to be done in your life for him and him alone. Amen. But the moment that he took his eyes off of Christ, he started sinking. Yes. And the scripture says, he said, Jesus saved me. How many times? Jesus saved me, Lord. Jesus, there's some problems going on in my life that I just can't take care of, Lord. If you just only answer my prayers, Lord. And Jesus just reached out and just grabbed him by the hand and lifted him. Amen. When was the last time that you called on Jesus? Maybe you've been taking your eyes off of him. And you start seeking and seeking and seeking. And Jesus was always there, right there, waiting to hear from you, waiting to hear from me. Amen? Waiting to save us from the enemy. Waiting to save us from things, from thoughts that we have in our mind. Waiting for some things that we want to have control of. Waiting for some things, maybe because my marriage is not what it ought to be. I'm waiting on some things because I'm trying to get ahead of God. And I realize that, Jesus, I need you. I need to put my trust and faith in him and him alone. I don't think the person here would say that our Father in heaven will let us down. I don't think not a person can say, you know, God, he'll, he'll let you down. No, he won't let you down. We let him down. Amen. With a hand. Now watch this. Women. I'm, I'm going to 
23. He says, but avoid foolish and ignorant dispute, knowing that they generate what? Strife. God. Strife. We should have strife amongst our brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen? Amen. If we can't get along on this earth, what you going to do when you get to heaven? Come on now. Huh? He said, what? And a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all. Oh, man. You know, my heart had changed in the last few years. And uh, in fact, more in the last year, because sometimes I would think that I was talking to Deborah that just because she might disagree in something, you know, it had come to my mind and God, God would hold my, hold my voice back and, and he would tell me, and I'm being honest with you, or some friend or whoever I'm around, if I say something, would any good come out of it? I'm not talking about coming out of God's word now. I'm not talking about if God wants me to tell someone about his word, I'm going to tell him, amen? But if I'm around someone, God says, well, if you say something, would, would anything come good out of it? Maybe you just need to pray for that person. Because sometimes we, we say things that come from what? Right here instead of from right here. Amen. And we do more hurt. Amen. And, and he does that a lot to me now. You know? Just, just keep quiet, Brother Shell. Just pray for him. And that's what we need to do when God deals with your heart. Amen? I can't change a person's life. Can you change it? No, but I know who can. My Father in heaven can. Amen? And my Father tells me and you that he gave me my heart's desire. And my heart's desire is that God's people would seek his will in their lives. Amen? Yeah. And I pray your heart to God as this preacher will allow the Holy Spirit to teach him and to guide him. I'm not perfect, people. Yeah. But I need your prayer just as much as you need mine. And we need to understand that. Amen? So he tells you and I, able to teach, be patient, in you what? Humanity. Correcting those who are in what? Opposition. If God perhaps will grant them repentance so that they may know the truth and that they may come to their senses and escape the snares of the devil having been taken captive for what? Him to do his will. Now 1 Timothy uh, chapter 4 verses 1 uh, uh, through 5 says this. You can turn here. First Timothy 4, 1 through 5 says this. Now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter time some would depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared with hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from food which God created, to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing is to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God in prayer. Praise the Lord. Everything that God created is good. Amen. And precious. Yes. Who am I today? We need to act ourselves. Am I running the race that my Father in Heaven can want me to run? Or maybe I'm sinking like Peter was sinking because I took my eyes and I put my faith in something else. And Jesus was always there to lift me up. I don't know. Maybe you realize today that you need a Savior in His name, Jesus. Yes, we're living in a time, people, that it's 
not going to be easy. The Bible tells us that. Perilous times are coming, hardships are coming. But we must stand on God's word. Amen. We must be. We've got too many people all around us to talk to and fro because they don't know what to believe. So many different doctrines out there. And then there's only one doctrine, that's the word of God. That's the gospel, amen. The Bible says if you, if you know the if you know the do if you know the truth and you don't do it, it's called a sin. Yes. Amen. Sin. I ask you today. Can you say everything's all right with me? Can I say everything's all right with me, Lord? Can I? Can I say, Lord, would would you just take me today and would you mold me and make me, Lord? Some things that I've been doing in, in, in my life that, Father, that I know is not your will, Lord. And, Father, I, 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 I want to I live for you, Lord. I want people to be able to see Jesus in me, Lord. <laughs> you know, Lord, I, I can tell you, you know, it's not an easy road, and I know you know that, Lord. But, you know, he tells you and I, that he'll never leave us, okay? He'll never forsake us, amen? He also says, won't you just give me your burdens? Good. See, many times we carry burdens upon our shoulders that we need to give to the Lord. We need to lay them at his feet, amen? Yes, our Lord's sake. What are you going to do today? I don't know. But I know God has spoke to all of us, every one of us, amen. Are we going to look to Jesus always? Or are we going to keep singing? Do we want to be more like Him? Do we? Do we want to grow? Do we? We must allow His will to be done in our lives. Amen. We must allow Him to mold us and make us. No other person but Him and Him alone. You know, as a, as a child of God, I can say this, as a Christian, and every Christian that's here, maybe everyone's here, I don't know, God has a plan for your life. He has a plan for your life. And many times, you can stop His plan. You can interfere with His plan. That's right. And I won't tell you, you're a child of God, He has a plan, and if you interfere with it, you know when God's knocking on that heart door and getting your attention. Amen? Amen. So what God doing with you today? That's the question. Father, we just ask you, Lord, let your spirit fall. Oh, it's here already. But Lord, just let us be honest with you today, Father. We can't hide from you. We can't run from you. I just pray, Father, we just, just look to you. You have all the answers that we need today.